Welcome back guys, and as we know, Quest of the Ring Bearer is the next supplement that is coming with the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. And with that, I have no doubt that we will be in need of a good old Ring Wraith. I can't even see him, he just sort of blends into the darkness there. There we are, Ring Wraith. Now, I have a feeling that you'll need him. Not confirmed, I've, I was wrong about the next supplement, so I could be wrong about this one. But let's face it, every ring bearer needs a ring wraith. And let's get on with this. A nice simple one today. We're going to need a maximum of four colors and one wash. This is what you'll need. Alright guys, so here we are with our ring wraith. And we can safely say we are nearly finished. Yes, a good old black undercoat, and he is 90% done. Now, for those keen-eyed amongst you, you'll notice that this is not indeed just a ring wraith. This is the Witch King. Now, the reason why I'm not using a normal ring wraith is because they cost over $100 on uh, Games Workshop. So I decided to buy this guy, Orbine's Lonesome, for about 10 bucks. I think that was not bad. Now, of course, I'd like to use a normal ring wraith, and I will get those ring wraiths eventually when I'm willing to spend that much money. But anyway, we're going to get straight on to it, and we're going to be starting off by doing a bit of dry brushing. Just finding my dry brush where I found it, and we're going to be using Lead Belcher. And this is going to be going all over his sword, his gloves, his boots, and... With the Witch King in particular, he has the Morgul Blade here. So we're going to be getting the cross guard and the pummel of that. And we're going to do that first. So, get your Lead Belcher. Now the reason why I'm using Lead Belcher instead of something like Iron Breaker is because even though I reckon the Ring Race would have a better bit of steel, you still want them to look quite dark. After all, they've been basically described as uh, black holes in the book so you don't want you don't want them to stand out too much but you still want that subtlety there that they are doing something anyway we'll quickly do this dry brushing if you just want to get in focus and let's get going and just like that all the dry brushing is done and that's Pretty much all the dry brush you needed at the moment, well, for the whole model. Now just with this model in particular, don't forget the very uh, tip of the stabber, st stabber, scabbard, scabbard, it's not scabbard, I haven't used that word in ages. Um, bit of metal there, sort of hiding, and of course, his uh, blade as well. Now next, believe it or not, we're going to be using Abaddon Black. Who would have thought? Now this is just basically going to cover up all the dry marks that went over the, the cloth. Also with the handle of his sword, that should be black, not the pummel, and same with the Morgul blade. And of course, if you missed anything on the uh, on the dry brush, on oh, oh, sorry, on the initial uh, undercoating, so especially with metal models, this one's a metal model, not a resin. You will sometimes get some missing of it, missing of the uh, undercoat. So you just want to do up any mistakes. And yeah, nice and simple. Right, so here we are with all the black done and all the silver dry brush. Now, what we're going to be doing is actually we're going to be doing a wash. And it's going to be a little known wash. And this is basically going to be going all over the metal parts. Just to make it a bit more darker. Don't worry about it putting over the cloaks as, well, you're not going to see anything at all. So... Get your non oil, magic water. Oop. Drop your model, probably get it chipped. Good on you, bro. And let's just get started. All right, wait for that to dry and we'll move on to the next stage. Right, so here we are with our ring wraith. The non oil is all dry. I know it's not exactly. Uh, easy to see but it's there it's there it's subtle but it's there but before we move on to doing the cloak if you want to you can leave your ring wraith right here 
it's totally fine. But I want to uh, just spruce them up a little. And that is by finishing off the metal and that's going to bring bringing out the lead belcher again and we're basically just going to be uh, doing an edge highlight on all the all the blade edges and well just 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 that basically yeah just just that so we're going to be going over the edges the pummel uh, the cross uh, the cross guard and just basically anywhere where this metal we're just going to be highlighting it just so it stands out a little bit more not too much. All right, with the metal done, it's time to move on to Corvus Black, or as I like to call it, Light Black. Um, and basically, this is going to be going over uh, best, uh, the sort of the highlights of the model. Now, it's not going to be edge highlight. It's basically going to be all the all the bumpy bits, just getting all the stuff. Basically, where the light hits, just to make give it a bit more three-dimensional look um, without going too over the top because again I like my ring race really dark just because well you know that's what they are you know they are described again as black holes they, they make the night outside of them look uh, lighter so um yeah get your Corvus black ready and just finding all those flat surfaces and edges that would be caught by the light. So here we are with all the Corvus black done and as you can see in the light it does it does like shine a bit more but trust me uh, that's just because of the light from my camera. Besides from that it does look very subtle and it just gives it just a little bit more um, extra texture. And as, as you can see if you look closely if you just wanna if you just wanna focus. 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 Come on. Here we are. I didn't go all over the hood it's just it's just sort of think think of it like a sheen, you know, just just sort of patches. Even though it's a large a large flat surface, I sort of focus mainly on the very corner of how the hood sort of goes like that. So you can see that uh, you've got the normal Avalon black sort of coming up that mark right here with the oh come on, come on. I know yeah, it's very hard to focus on a very dark model, but like, yeah, I think that just looks a lot better than actually just. Yeah, every every flat surface just it's just you know you you'll see it you'll see it but anyway it's time to finish this model I know very very difficult model to paint here and we're going to be continuing on with Dark Reaper now with normal black cloth I usually go with Ursha and Grey and I'm it's going to be a bit different this time because with Ring Race in particular they're a bit more uh, dark magic and all that. And I want to get that feeling across. So I want them to feel more special when it comes to their dark clothing. So I'm going to be edge hiding with Dark Reaper instead of Urshan Grey just to make them different. Because you're just like, oh, these guys mean business. They definitely do. These are ring wraiths. Wow, this one in particular is the Witch King, but we are just going to ignore that for now. But anyway, getting our Dark Reaper, we're just going to be getting all the edges of this guy. And again, you don't need to worry about it too much with it, you know, thinking, oh, it looks a bit too bright in the, on, on screen. Again, that's just because my camera is quite bright and shining full on it. But yeah, you just want to get those, those edges just to make them stand out. Sorry, my camera is just having trouble focusing on such a dark model. I'll, I'll get this little piece here so you can see it properly. See that? Looks great. You know, I'll get to the rest of this because uh, trying to keep this in focus is nearly impossible. All right, and there we have it. 
He's all done and highlighted and he is looking good. Um, nice simple one today guys. Uh, no long videos here. But um, yeah, I just think that ring race just look awesome on the battlefield. Uh, even though they're easy to paint, they really stand out in a whole different way. But anyway, that wraps it up for this one. I'll start getting ready for the next uh, quest, uh, sorry, quest the ring bearer painting tutorial. But this guy is pretty good. And there we have it. One ring wraith. Well, you know, witch king, but uh, we won't get into that. It's very simple. It's very subtle, but simple. If you, if you just take your time he'll just he'll stand out if you just if you just get those those colors right he doesn't need to just look like this black hole on the battlefield he has layers you know he's like an onion you know he has layers so just got to make sure that you take your time and uh, just get that get that subtlety there anyway that will do for this one and I will see you for the next uh, quest of the ring bearer painting scheme Coming soon.